Hello guys and welcome to another video of mine. Now in this video we're gonna see if you can live with an over 13 year old computer. This computer is well as I said over 13 years old. The specs in this computer are listed over here so you can see how old I'm talking about. And we're gonna see if you can properly live with it. Try some browsing, YouTube, games and all etc and etc. Now first thing first you need to select an OS before you get started. Now for an OS you could go with the original OS the computer came on which would be Windows XP but I wanted something that still was supported. Now first I was thinking about Linux Mint. Now speaking of Linux Mint I've been recently getting into it thanks to Gerard. I hope I didn't butcher that name but he's a really cool dude. Check him out guys. It helped me get new life in the box PC which works perfectly fine now and way better than with Ubuntu. So a big shout out to him and really go check him out. He is amazing. Now unfortunately Linux Mint didn't work on this computer, it decided to freeze. So that's sad, but then I was looking for a replacement. Ubuntu in itself doesn't work on it, so I chose for a little bit in between. This is Lubuntu. Lubuntu is basically a lighter version of Ubuntu, but looks a bit like Linux Mint I'd say. You'll see it when I get started into it. And really it's designed for very old computers. The minimum specs is even a Pentium 3, which is really old. So I'm gonna use this OS in the test of this video. Here we are in Lubuntu and you can see why I say it looks a bit like Linux Mint. It's got its software center, it's barred down here, although it's wide and it's got its starting. It's more a bit like that, honestly. Now, first things first, can you do basic tasks with it? So here we are in AB Word and Numeric. I probably botched those names as well, but you know, it's your basic Word and Excel stuff, so... Typing and all that stuff, uh, doing all your word stuff, that works fine, all your office talks works great on here. Web browsing, you got Firefox on here, which you can actually do pretty much everything on it, I'll show you. YouTube is one of the more heavier ones I'd say on here, but YouTube works okay on here. Now don't expect any HD, like uh, you can see I had to put it on. 480p, man, that took a long time for lo to load. <laughs> That's the thing about this computer. It takes a while to load, but once you're in there, you kind of can do whatever you want. And, you know, your 480p videos work uh, pretty much fine, so you can still catch up with all your favorite content creators and all that stuff. It also works pretty great. You can just scroll on, you can see all your videos, all your uh, news and all stuff, all your gifs. Although, again, it takes a little while for them to load, but you know, once they're there, they're there also works pretty great on the web browser at least and you can check all of your stuff all your favorite servers all your friends now i'm not gonna show that on video because i respect their privacy let's get into the games now games it's a bit of a special one to be honest because you can't do much of it as you could have imagined because when you try to open steam you would think this is some clever censoring i'm doing right now but it's not this is how steam runs you can't run it if you try to start it it just crashes immediately but what you can do is go to the Lubuntu Software Center and get some very basic games like chess and all that stuff so that you can at least try to enjoy a, bit, a little bit in your free time. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to show to you guys, that you can still use a very old computer to run some very basic tasks, even if you're a student, because remember, this computer only cost me 10 bucks. You can still use it, do all your basic stuff, all your schoolwork on a very tight budget. So I am very happy about this computer. It works for your basic stuff. You can do all this, all that, and I really like it. Now, I know it's a short one, but I really hope you've enjoyed, guys, and I really hope you found this a bit interesting. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.